What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're taking a look at some more pins and badges. And these are some Royal Arms pins and badges. Obviously, I got these from the museum in York. The... what's it called? The... York Dungeon. No. Yes. The, the York Museum. I genuinely don't remember what it is. But these badges cost me £2.75 each. And everyone says I have an American accent. Everyone thinks I'm from America. I'm not. I'm from the UK. And this is what I have to prove it. This is what I have to prove it. I've been collecting pins and badges for a while now. And I'm hoping to get a pin board in the near future to show them and display them. So they're not all hidden in my bag or just laid about on my desk. And they actually have a place to go. A place to display on the, uh, on the room. Uh, just so you can see them and get a better sort of look at them. And the Royal Arms are obviously the Unicorn and the Lion, which are both sides of the crest. Again, I am from Britain, but I'm not a huge sort of knowledge. I don't have the, the best sort of knowledge. But these are like little pins. and They do have the bunny ears on the back, if I can get it off. Um, and the little horse here, the little Unicorn... It is in like an action pose, it's fighting, and obviously, as you can see here, it's on the right side of the shield, protecting it, and it's quite detailed, it's got the horn there, the engraving on the tail and the mane, and the sort of queen crown around the neck there as well. It's really cool, and it looks absolutely incredible. It is quite detailed, but it is still quite small, so they can't have too much detail going on there, and... It, the money does go to the York Museum Trust, which uh, I, I don't know what they do with the money, I'm going to be honest. I think it's just, like, preserving, like, history and sort of stuff like that and play, paying the employees. I, I, I don't have a clue. I'm going to be honest with you here, Chief. I just thought these, these ones looked cool and it's a good way to show my Britishness in the form of a couple of pins and again with a lion here uh, they do have the bunny ears on the back which you do have to press in just here to release the clamp to get the badge off and then once you let go it should be stuck in and it shouldn't come off and if you've seen on my tiktok in my fit checks i have worn a couple of pins and badges on my beanies uh the past couple of times i've done them and you know, I've, I've been collecting them for a while. You've probably seen them on my bag if you've seen me out and about. But this one is also really detailed with the crown on top, the sort of fur around the mane, and the fur around the tail as well. It's all really cool and really interesting, and again, just another way to show that I'm British. Because none of you believe me. None of you fucking believe me. I am British. I have the fucked up teeth to prove it. Alright? I have the fucked teeth to prove it. I drink coffee on a morning, so that's not a good excuse. I don't like tea. But I love crumpets. I love crumpets. Believe I'm British, please. It, it's it's all I want from you. It's all I want. I want you to believe I'm British. I was born and raised here. I've been, I've been here for like 20 whole years of my life. But uh, yeah, here is uh, here's, here's the lion. The lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. But um, yeah, you'll probably see these on my pin board if you like ever decide to go watch my TikTok. And you'll probably see them in the background. But other than that, there isn't really much else to say about them. They're pretty cool. They're all one color. They're in, they're like a, a metal pin, so it's hard for them to break, hard for them to get destroyed, and they're quite small, so I'll probably lose them before I get the pin board, I'm going to be honest. But uh, other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this YouTube video. I'll see you all next one. I hope you all have an excellent day, and goodbye. And if you do get a chance, if you do ever come to York, definitely go check out the museum, uh, because it is really cool. It's really interesting as well, and... Uh, you know, it, it's boring for me because I've been there like eight times in my entire life, and it's all the same. But still, if you if you if you visit in York, it, it's it's a nice place to go. It's it, it's interesting. Go go look around.